shall be well with you. It shall be well with all that pertain to you. In this month of grace, the grace of God will speak on your behalf. Grace makes difficult things easy. This month and beyond, every difficulty in your life will become easy. Things you have been pursuing since January, from this month they'll begin to pursue you. Everything you desire will fall for you in the right places. You will not struggle. It will come easy in the name of Jesus. And every time I hear from you, it will be good news. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I praise you. I praise you. Oh. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Worship God, worship God, worship God, worship God. Worship Him, tell Him how much you love Him. Tell Him how great He is. Tell Him how wonderful He is. Wonderful, counselor, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He's good, He's kind, He's merciful, He's compassionate. It is because of Him that you are alive today. It is because of Him that you woke up this morning. It is because of Him that you have a testimony. Give him praise this morning. He's worthy. 
worthy of our praise, worthy of adoration, worthy of exaltation, worthy of worship. He's worthy. He's worthy. Thank you, Father. We will never thank you enough. If all the hairs on our head, with the tongues in our mouth, it still will not be enough to thank you. Blessed be your name forevermore. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Our sister came out to give a testimony of how before she came back, woke up in the morning, 4.30, the roof was blown, everything is blown up. But God, God preserved her. Like I told them at the workers' meeting yesterday, I heard in the news the same report. A woman went to sleep with her children and woke up. There was fire. And that fire got at the roof, the everything, the, the ceiling were, were all burned. They tried to rescue them. The burglary proof was too hard, they couldn't bust through it. And by the time that they managed to break the door to enter, the gas cylinder exploded, exacerbated the situation, everybody scattered. They had to call the fire people and they called the police. Before the firemen could come, Six people, the woman, three children, one relation, and a house help, burnt to no recognition. The husband traveled. By the time he came the next day, rather than come to meet a family that is whole, he came to meet a family that was buried. Six of them buried. They are Muslim. They were buried the same day. But you have experienced fire, you've experienced rain, you've experienced all, but God has kept you alive. Only God could do the things that we are experiencing in him. To him alone be the glory. In the name of Jesus. We were also told yesterday at the news of a girl who was coming back from work and she came into a crossfire between OPC and Bunker. Those who were doing oil bunkering. As they fired themselves, this woman came in between and she was gone down. She's a lawyer coming back from work. She had just married. She's going to celebrate one year in marriage. And on top of it, she was six months pregnant. But she was there. She was dead. And by now, may be going to be buried with six-month-old baby. But you have gone. You have come back home. You have gone to the market. You have come back. You have carried your baby nine months. We have given back. We are doing dedication for 10, more than 10, every month. We have cause to glorify God. I said we have cause to glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How can we thank you? Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise Because of who you are I will live my life and say Lord, I can worship you Because of who you are Let's sing it one more time Because of who you are Say, Father, because I am in your presence today, in thanksgiving, throughout this year, let me not be a victim of fire, of armed robbery, of police bullets, in the name of Jesus. Let me not be a, vic a victim, but make me a victor, in the name of Jesus. Pray this year. As I'm in this thanksgiving, oh Lord God, let me not be a victim. Let me not be a victim. I will not die by fire. I will not die by robbery. I will not die by stray bullets. My children will not die by stray bullets. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The man came back and found six people dead in his family. They had to come to condolence with him. The same thing with this woman that was six months old pregnant and died. 
they had to be condoning the husband who is supposed to be celebrating one year anniversary. You are going to talk to God this morning. Say, Father, because I am in this Thanksgiving, throughout this year, every register of death, every register of calamity, open for me and for my family. I tear them to pieces. I burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth in this Thanksgiving as I thank you today. Oh Lord, every register that the devil has opened to put my name, to weep, to mourn, in the name above all names, I tear the register. I burn them to ashes. I will not mourn. I will not sorrow. They will not pay me a condolence visit in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not pay me a condolence visit. I will not bury any member of my family. My wife will not die. My husband will not die. My children will not die. In this Thanksgiving, as I'm giving you thanks, Oh, my Sekayaba Santalia. Oh, thank you, Father. Moye Jesu you. Mukon Sarasi. Moye Jesu you. Mukon Sarasi. Kiloshe. Kujaki Roko. Besoko. Kujeki Rajo Besajo Kujeko Fori Mi Bapao Loju Arami Moyi Jesu Yu Mokan Sarasi Lastly, say Father Say Father As I sing to you today As I dance for you today as I rejoice in your presence today, throughout this year, give me cause to dance, to rejoice, to sing, to celebrate. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. I am in thanksgiving today. As I dance today, as I rejoice today, as I sing unto you today, throughout this year and beyond, I will sing hallelujah. I will rejoice in your presence. I will be given praise. Reason for praise, reason for thanksgiving will not cease from my mouth. Thank you, Father. Email. Email. Oh, for what you have done. Oh, Kaka. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come into your presence with thanksgiving. Oh Lord, we ask, oh God, that today receive us, receive our thanksgiving, and in place, bless us in the name of Jesus. At the end of the service today, let all be well with us. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to thank Jesus on your behalf for another month. It's a privilege. We see people that are passing on. They are just burying people. But you and I, by his special grace, we have seen today. And I can assure you, you will see tomorrow. And I can assure you, by the end of this year, when they are crossing over, you will cross over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to thank all those who have sent us text messages and those who have called 
you know, to encourage us and to thank God on our behalf, you know, on our, our birthday. Incidentally, it's the same bath month that I celebrate, with, I mean, I, I share with my wife. Um, I'm first of May because I'm the head, so I am the first on the first, you know. And uh, she's my wife's, her own is May the 27th, okay? Uh, so, and uh, our only son also is in May, May 3rd. So we have 1st, 3rd, and 27th. Praise the name of the Lord. The grace of God has been sufficient for us. It will be sufficient for you in Jesus' name. If I didn't reply your text message, it's because I am overwhelmed. I tell you, it was, the first was a Friday in the camp, you know, with all the activities in the camp, with all the fasting and all of that, um, messages were coming in. I, I tried initially to read them. By the time I read four, ten will come. I read another four, ten will come. By the time I could know it, as I speak with you, there is 108, 108 messages in, in my phone. And on this iPad, there are 665 665 some on facebook some on uh, 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 on uh, linkedin you know and so on and so forth but my god will remember you and bless you in jesus name praise the name of the lord it's another thanksgiving um the thanksgiving of the month of may the month of grace and we thank god for what god is saying to us this month that there shall be freedom and liberty for us in the name of jesus at the May Holy Ghost service last Friday, the Holy Ghost of Grace, the theme, of course, you know, was fulfilling your destiny. Fulfilling your destiny. I know many of us did not attend. Some will be legitimately for work. Some will be because that there was fuel crisis and um, some could not attend. Uh, but whatever it is, I believe that the anointing of... Uh, the camp and the word of prophecies will speak on your behalf in Jesus' name. So at that, that service of fulfilling your destiny, the GO said, we should be in thanksgiving, thanksgiving because our season of fulfilling destiny is now. Daddy defined destiny as the plan and the purpose of God for our lives even before we were born. Before you were born, before your mother met your father, God already had determined how you are going to be, whether you're a male, whether you're a female. God determined whether you'll be tall or short or light-skinned or dark-skinned. You know, so if God determined you'll be dark, I don't know why you want to turn yourself to, um, to, um, to yellow. Anyway, all of this had been determined by God even before you were born. And your mom just walks straight to your, your dad walks straight to your mom because that's been ordained and um, your birth came to be. And he told us that at least I put 14 things down that God says must happen to you because you are fulfilling uh, purpose. 14 things. And for those who did not come, I will just read them out to you. G, I mean, the, the GO said that it is ordained from the foundations of the world that you will receive healing from sickness. That it is the plan of God for you to receive healing for every sickness. First Peter 2.24. First Peter 2.24. Daddy says, number two, that it is the divine purpose of God for you to remain in divine health. Divine health. It is God's purpose and nobody can deny you that. And you will remain in divine health from now in the name of Jesus. Exodus 15, 26. Exodus 15, 26. That the GO says that it is the plan of God for you to receive deliverance from bondage, from affliction, and from every embargo. That that is the plan of God and that is for you and for me. Deliverance from bondage, from affliction, and from every embargo. That it is my right because it is in my destiny. John chapter, 5, John chapter 8 verse 32. John chapter 8 verse 32. Number 4, Daddy says that it is in the divine plan of God for you to be protected from evil forces. For you to have protection from evil forces. Psalm 23 and verse 5. Psalm 23 and verse 5. 
And it is the plan and the purpose of God. It says there, no, Psalm 95 verse 7, sorry. Protection from evil forces, Psalm 95 verse 7. A thousand will fall by your left, ten thousand by your right. It shall not come near you. And I decree that no evil will come near you in the name of Jesus. Number five, it says it's God's plan to give us security from our enemies. Security from all enemies. Psalm 23 verse 5. Psalm 23 verse 5. Thou shalt prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Number six says that it is your divine destiny. Divine destiny for you to receive anointing for favor. Anointing for favor is your destiny. It is, it is part of what God had ordained for you. Psalm 23 verse 5. 23 verse 5. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup run over. Anointing is your portion. Number seven. That is his long life. That's longevity is in your destiny. You cannot die young. You are not supposed to die young. And every power that wants to take you out before your time, that power will go out. And God will, will quench its candle in the name of Jesus Christ. All right? So long life is your portion. Longevity is your portion. Psalm 91 verse 16. Psalm 91 verse 16. With long life will he satisfy you. Number eight that it says that honor, honor is also in your destiny. God had imputed honor in your destiny. Psalm 91 verse 15. Psalm 91 verse 15. He says, he will call on me and I will honor him. God says, honor is in your destiny and you will receive honor in Jesus' name. Everywhere they will be messing you up from today, they will honor you in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Number nine. Joy is in your destiny. Joy is in your destiny. Psalm 16 verse 11. Psalm 16 verse 11. The Bible says in his presence is the fullness of joy. And at his right hand are pleasures forever. And that's your portion in Jesus' name. Everything that is sorrow, I deduct from your life now in the name of Jesus for those who are saying amen, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number 10, he said, peace is in your destiny. Peace is in your destiny. Peace. John chapter 14, verse 27. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace. He said, my peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. The peace that passeth all understanding. Receive this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Number 11, he says, abundance is in your destiny. Abundance, to, to have more than enough. Not just enough, but more than enough. Um, Deuteronomy 33 and verse 19. Deuteronomy 33, verse 19, abundance. And also verses 28, um, not be dumb in Jesus name light or no light God will hear your voice in Jesus name praise the Lord Deuteronomy 33 verse 19 Deuteronomy 28 verse 47 abundance in your destiny number 12 you will be head and not tail that is in your destiny you were born to be head not to be a tail you are born to be first and not to be last that will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 13. And number 13, John 15, 5. John 15, 5. Fruitfulness is in your destiny. I say fruitfulness is in your destiny. You can never be barren in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be fruitful physically. You will be fruitful financially. You'll be fruitful materially. 
you will be fruitful spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything called barrenness, I deduct this morning as we celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. Number 14, which is the last one that I have here, it says heaven. Heaven is in your destiny. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, in my father's house are many mansions. So, um, and he says, when he goes to prepare the place, he will come back for us so that wherever he is, we also will be there. Now, all of the above 14, you know, um, um, things that God had imputed into our destiny are the original plan of God for us from the foundations of the world. And I am excited that in this same month that Daddy says that we will fulfill destiny and all of this 14 is the same month that God is speaking to the church in Victory House that this is the year of Jubilee. Which means that you have liberty, you have freedom from all the negative things that has been spoken by daddy on Friday. It's amazing the way that we have the link, the nexus between the things that God says through our Father and the Lord on a Holy Ghost service and what God is saying to us in the church for the month. We have watched it and we see that there is a, a nexus, like the lawyers will say. There's a link, you know. That all these things that have been spoken. We have liberty from sickness, liberty from poverty, liberty from everything that is negative, from barrenness and from everything. And receive it as you believe it in Jesus' name. Now, today, is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? You have been hearing it. You've heard it on, on Friday, come Saturday morning. But today, this scripture is fulfilled. Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 21. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 21, Jesus Christ came, picked up the scriptures, and he began to read the things that God had imputed into his destiny, into his foundation. These things have been written before he was born. It was part of his destiny. And after he had read it, he said that today, where he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, set liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Verse 20, and he closed the book and he gave it again to the ministers. And Jesus sat down and the eyes of of all them that were in the synagogue, they were fastened on him. And he began to say what I have said to you now, that this day, today, is this scripture fulfilled where? For everyone who is hearing me, and for everyone who will believe God, and will lift his hand to God and wave it to him, today, everything you have heard, will be manifest in your family in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So what is God saying to us this season? What is God saying to us? Because this is the season of the manifestation of all that we have heard. The prophecies that have come to us. What he's saying to us is that our jubilee has come. Let somebody... Shout hallelujah. You believe that your jubilee has truly come. Shout a better hallelujah. What does jubilee mean? I'll give you seven things it means in less than ten minutes and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be done. What does jubilee mean? I'm, I'm believing God. That for the man of God who is going to come to... Look at these issues from Monday to Wednesday. <laughs> you have never heard them like you are going to hear them from Monday to Wednesday. I beg of you. If you have been bound in any way, physically or maritally or financially, I beg of you. 
don't miss this month's prayer mountain. Because this is going to free you from everything that you have said no to. Anything you say no to this month, you will never see them again. In the name of Jesus Christ. What does Jubilee mean to you and I? One, Jubilee is the number of seven Sabbath years. Jubilee is defined as the month, the number of seven Sabbath years. Leviticus 25 verse 8. Leviticus 25 and verse 8. It tells us that Sabbath means seven. Sabbath means seven. So seven of seven, which is Sabbath, is 49 there. And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee. Seven times seven years. And the space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be unto you and I, what? 49 years. Because seven times seven is 49. All right. What is Jubilee? Number two. It is a year of divine celebration. It's a year of divine celebration. Introduced with trumpets. Verse 9. Introduced with trumpet. Verse 9. Verse 9. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seven months in the day of atonement. Shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. Jubilee is a period of celebration. It does not matter what condition you are this morning. You came in here sad. You came in here sorrowful. You came in here not fulfilled. Because you have come into Jubilee, God says that that condition will have to, to give way to celebration. And you better get yourself in the mood to celebrate because the thanksgiving of this day is going to be like you've never seen before. We are going to dance differently. We are going to sing differently. We are going to gesticulate differently. All those who know how to dance, today, please, I beg of you, if you don't know how to dance, don't come out. All those who come out and they don't know how to dance, they're understanding. No, 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 not today. Today is celebration, is jubilee. If you know you can dance, and pastor, please, like you did the other time, we want to choose at least two uh -huh, that really, really can kumole. Uh -huh, uh -oh. So you can dance. Come out. Give it to God. You are training yourself to celebrate throughout the remaining part of the year. No matter how you move today, throughout this year, you will be celebrating. I didn't hear a better amen. And it says it will be heralded in by trumpet. So, I don't know if we have a trumpet in the house today, but, you know, you will hear some, some sound also to herald the, uh, and if there is no trumpet, and I, I'm sure you yourself, you can blow the trumpet yourself. Everybody blow your trumpet. La, la, la. <laughs> blow your trumpet now. La, 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 la. Everybody blow your trumpet. Tra, la, la, la. Blow your trumpet now. Ah, la, la. I declare your jubilee in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Spirit. Number three, jubilee is a year that liberty is proclaimed throughout all the land and for all the people. Verse 10. Verse 10. Jubilee is the year in which liberty is proclaimed throughout the land, throughout the land, and to all the people. In other words, in the, all our churches, it's going to be jubilee. For everyone who has come, it shall be jubilee for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's there in verse 10. Uh, number 5, number 4. Number 4, jubilee is a year of divine relocation. It's a year of divine relocation and a year of restoration. 
the year of restoration, and the year of relocation. It doesn't matter where you are standing now. The truth of the matter is that before the end of this service, you shall be relocated. Agaracha must come back home. It's there in verse 10, the same verse 10, you'll find it there in verse 10, that everyone who has been in bondage will be released. And ye shall hallow the 50th year, that after 49 is 50. So, Jubilee is after 49. And the number after 49 is what? Is 50. So, 50 is actually year of Jubilee because it's after 7 times 7. After 49 is, is, is 50. Ye shall hallow the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land and all inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man, every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. So all those husbands that have run away, this year you are coming back by fire. I said they are coming by fire. Every wife that has run away from the home of her husband, you are coming back by fire. Every child that has left home and we are looking for, this year jubilee, they are coming back home. Every land that has been taken from you, you are repossessing it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Why number five? Verse 11. Jubilee declares that the 50th year is a jubilee. And uh, I want to congratulate all those who are 50 this year. Or those who are 50 in marriage this year. You naturally just qualify. You naturally qualify. Number six, verse 12. Verse 12. Jubilee is a year you eat and drink and incre an increase of your labor. You increase in your labor. Verse 12. It is not the year you eat your capital. It is not the year you eat what you are putting in your pocket. It is the year in which you must have excess and you will be spending from excess, not from what you have in the house. Please, the name of the Lord. Is the, for it is the jubilee. It shall be holy unto you. Ye shall eat the increase. Is the increase thereof out of the field. If you invested a hundred thousand, you are not going to spend out of a hundred thousand. You are going to spend out of the extra excess on what you have. Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, there's someone here, you will never go bankrupt again. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here, every time you put mon hand in your pocket, you will find money in your pocket. I say money will meet money in your hand. Naira will meet Naira in your hand. Dollar will meet pounds sterling in your hand. This year, you will spend foreign currency. You don't know the color now, but before the end of this year, you will begin to spend the currency. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Number six, the penultimate one. No, no, no. Oh, the last one now. Verse 12. Verse 12. Jubilee is the year you eat the increase of your labor. No, the, I've said that. Okay, six. The last one then, number seven. You guys are not following, that's why. If you were following, you would have known it's not number six. What number are we on? Number seven, God bless you. Seven is for perfection. You will be perfected in Jesus' name. And I have seven minutes exactly. So it's just seven all the way around. Number seven, verse 14. Verse 14. It says, Jubilee is your year of no oppression. No more oppression. Our theme for last month that God gave us was oppress the oppressor. Last year, God dealt with all oppressors, and this month, I mean last month, God dealt with the oppressors and pursuers. And this month, he's given us the word jubilee, which is freedom. Everything that has oppressed you up till now, receive your liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. It is jubilee for you, for your family, for everything that belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we are going to start to demonstrate our jubilee from now when we go into thanksgiving. Dance and show that of a truth that you have been liberated. Uh, like I said, from Monday, we'll look at each of these 
and tell you how some people possess their possession and how people went out of bondage. For instance, you know that in Psalm 137, the children of Israel were singing a dirge, a singing a song of sorrow because they were in bondage. The Babylonians came and took them out and carried them away captive. And in Psalm 37, they began to sing by the rivers of Babylon where we sat down. And there we wept when we remember Zion. But when God turned their captivity and gave them jubilee, freedom, they sang a different song in Psalm 126 where they said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Now we were like them that dream. Now our mouth will fill with laughter and our tongue with singing. He said, the heathen had said to us, the Lord had done great things for them. I tell you that after today, throughout this month, people will see you, they will ask you, what is it that has happened to you? And you will tell them, it is Jubilee. You will tell them it is what? Jubilee. Let somebody say Jubilee, Joe. This throughout this month, that will be your song, Jubilee, Joe. If they see you, uh, you get new car, uh, Jubilee, Joe. Uh, you, don't, you don't print your car to marry, Jubilee, Joe. Uh, you don't move from your apartment to this small one to inside duplex. Jubilee, Joe. That will be your song in the name of Jesus. All right. Now, one thing is very critical. No. If you don't have Christ in your life, you will have crisis. If you don't have Christ in your life, that's the truth of the matter. You will have crisis. In all the countries of the world now, you find that there's war everywhere. Everywhere. In Syria, in Pakistan, you know, in, in Egypt, you know, in Libya. All the countries that hitherto had known peace before, there's war everywhere now. And if you take a look at all those countries, you'll find that there are, there are countries that actually do not agree with the fact that Jesus is the Lord. Now, unless that you accept Christ, Unless you have Christ in a country, what you have is crisis. The Bible says that the, 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 the uh, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to the people. So the problem that countries go through is because they do not have Christ. The same thing with individuals. If you don't have Christ, you have crisis in your body. Therefore, as we are in the year of Jubilee, and it is a prophecy that have been spoken. It is in your destiny for you to be free. Daddy has said that it is in your destiny for you to be free. But there is something that you need to do to be able to access that which belongs unto you. And all that God is asking for you to do is to believe him in your heart and to confess him with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord. That's all you need to do for you to come into the bandwagon of those who are going to experience jubilee this year i'm already in jubilee the testimonies of people that we have prayed for we just traveled we just came back and the kind of testimonies that we're getting are such that one is encouraged that yes god is real um last week i just came back last week from from greece i went to you know uh, athens those of you who read acts of the apostle athens these philosophers where paul goes to argue they just argue, they just like to argue. They, they are philosophers. And they are still so in Athens. I went to Thessalonica. Where you have Thessalonica in the Bible. I, got, I was in Thessalonica last week. Although it's called Thessaloniki. You know, you have the big monasteries where Paul went to preach. Big monuments. They're still there. Hundreds of years. And they're still very strong. But then there are no people there. All those, the, those big Edifice have seven, eight people in church on Sunday. Eight only. Why? Because they have lost eight. They don't believe in God anymore. The younger ones don't even want to hear about it, that there can't be a God. And that is why Greece is the poorest country in the world right now. A nation that have known the kind of move of God. With people like Paul preaching all over the place. Go there. The place is desolate. I went to our church there. People are moving out of the place because things have turned sour. That's what happens when people have no God. 
countries that have no God. I was in Holland also last week. Holland is one of the countries that, that brought, you know, Christianity to this part of the world. Right there, they are the first to accept um, um, abortion, official abortion in, in that country by law. They are one of the first to accept gay as legal in their country, in that place. Beautiful place, but look at what is happening there. A nation that forgets God will get into crisis. And any man that forgets his God will also be in crisis. But because God is kind and merciful to you and I, he has declared that this is our year of, of, of jubilee. But for you to enter into jubilee, you have to be in him. I want to give an opportunity for someone who God has brought here particularly today because he wants you to start your jubilee. Before you begin to dance, you will dance in Christ. Let your heart believe and let your mouth confess that Jesus is Lord. If there's anyone that is saying, Pastor, pray with me. My heart is fixed. I'm convinced. And I, with my mouth, I'm confessing that Jesus is the Lord. If you're saying that, I want you to lift up your hand. I want to pray with you before I go to sit down. And if you have been in Christ before, but you have backslidden, it's opportunity for you to come back. Come back as a prodigal son. Come back as a prodigal son. Every, everywhere in the house is an opportunity. This is Jubilee. It is God that have destined it. It is not man. It is God that have destined it. 14 things that must happen to you because it's in your destiny. You need to receive it yourself. It is a choice that you have to make. You want to come in is a choice. Make a choice to come or you make a choice to remain till the following year. Maybe next year will be your jubilee. But for me, this is my jubilee. Every red light must turn green in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you there? Please come forward. Come forward. If you are lifting up your hand, come forward. I need to pray now. The time is out. We want to really celebrate today. We want to celebrate today. Thank God. Thank God. Please clap for them. Clap. Encourage them. Encourage them. This is the day that the Lord has made for you. He knows you are going to come and he has brought you particularly on this day of Jubilee. Receive your freedom from every habit that you are into that is not right. Receive your freedom. You've been smoking. You've been drinking. You cannot stop. You have dirty habits. You need to stop. As soon as you are in him, you will receive freedom from it. Those things you don't want to do, you can stop doing them from today. From all over, we will wait for you. You are coming from up. Please get up and come and join yourself to Jesus, the Lord who paid the price for you. He loves you so much and that's the reason why he went to the cross. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, those who are in front, just cry to him and say, Lord, just forgive me. Just forgive me. I didn't know. Now I know. I confess my sins before you. I make no excuse whatsoever. And I'm asking that you will forgive me. Let your blood wash me clean. Let me start a new life today. In you. This jubilee. I receive it, oh God. Freedom. Freedom from bad habits. Freedom from lying. Freedom from everything that is bad. Freedom from sin of any or unrighteousness. I reject them today. I hold on to you. Give me the liberty. Liberty to be able to do your will. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Father in heaven, we pray for your children who you have brought. We know that there are a lot more than this that you have brought. But we thank you for those that you have given the grace to come out. And those who are going to come out after now. Because, oh Lord God, your blood will not be wasted on them. That you will cause them to come and avail of this blood that you have shed for them. That from now on, transfer the names of this one into the book of life. From today, our Lord and our God. Make the impossible a possible in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We we'll give you praise. As they dance in this jubilee, oh Lord God, perfect that which concerns them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You still want to join them as they're going? Please join them. I don't have time to... Um, to tell you what the Lord spoke to my spirit right now. It is in your interest, I beg of you. Today, if you miss it today, it might take you another 10 years to get in what you will have gotten this hour. That is the truth of the matter. That's the, what I, the administration I got. You miss it today, it might take you 10 years. That's a long time. Why would you want to wait? As they are going, get up, just join them. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. It's the devil who should be ashamed, not you. Catch, catch in on what God has destined for you today and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Well, it's our habit to give to 
uh, the first four people that surrendered their life to Christ. A brand new Bible for a brand new beginning. There you go, sir. The Lord bless you. There you go, ma. The Lord bless you. There you go, ma. The Lord bless you. And hear you in the day of your trouble, in Jesus' name. There you go, sir. The Lord bless you, in Jesus' name. All right, please, you will go with the counselor. Um, we are interested in your name and your contact such that we will be able to communicate with you while we are praying for you. Let's give Jesus a big hand. Give Jesus a big hand. The rest of you stand on your feet. One prayer. Stand on your feet. When you get to, a ch you get to um, the traffic light, the traffic light has red, it has amber, and it has green. Now something is about to happen to you. When there is a red light, what happens? You stop. That stop means delay. Stop means embargo. Stop means, you know, that you are on one point, you cannot move again. But as soon as it goes to amber, it means get ready, isn't it? You begin to get ready, put you on your gear. And as it goes green, you move on. The, red, the light has been on red, but for you, it's going to amber right now. And by the time you pray this prayer, it will enter green in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands, say, Father. Say, Father, turn every red light in every aspect of my life. Every delay, every stagnation, every embargo, in every part of my life. Turn them to green right now. Let me go. Let me move. I will never be on the same spot again. I will never remain the same again. It's jubilee. Freedom for me to move. In Jesus' name, we pray. With the same strength, let's pray for our daddy. Thank God that this is his own month. The month of his celebration. I want us to pray for him from the depth of our heart. That everything he desires for his life. Because this is his month. That God will begin to pour it upon his life. Shall we go ahead and pray? What he desires for his wife, for his children, for his ministry. That God will release upon his life. Divine health. Everything that he has asked for. That God will remember him and pour those things upon his life. Yes, Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 